MG continues to specialise in providing budget brand buyers access to full electrification at super affordable prices. In 2020, the company announced its second zero emissions model, the MG5 EV Estate, added long range capability to it shortly afterwards, then in mid 2022, updated the styling inside and out to create the car we're going to look at here. This, the UK's first and cheapest EV estate, offers a 249 mile combined driving range and sells at a reasonably conventional price. In recent years, MG has been making a name for itself, profitably riding the EV revolution by offering those who are ready to switch a range of more affordable options which make increasing sense as rising living costs take their toll. This slightly anglified Chinese brand would have done even better had not its earlier products been not only cheap but deathly dull. But all that is changing. The new MG4 EV small hatch is one sign of that, and another comes with the makeover we're looking at here for the MG5 EV estate. The MG5 has done quite well for the brand. It was the UK's fifth best-selling EV in 2021, but it was rarely chosen in its bland original form by anyone below retirement age. So more than a mid-term wash and brush up was required for this facelifted version. And that's exactly what we've got. A sharky front end highlights a complete change of bodywork, plus there's more equipment and improved towing capability. Sounds promising but you'll need the usual thorough car and driving road test to find out more. There aren't any engineering changes with this revised MG5 EV. Uh, for the time being, the brand's only offering the long range version, which has a 61.1 kilowatt hour battery, uh, and that powers a 154 bhp electric motor on the front axle. Range is rated at 249 miles. At some point, the Mark may also offer a more affordable version with a smaller 50 kilowatt hour battery, which manages 199 miles of range. Either way, performance is much the same with 62 miles an hour from rest occupying 8.3 seconds and 280 newton meters of torque, allowing for swift, easy overtakes on the way to a rather un-EV-like top speed of 115 miles an hour. You won't be expecting much from the drive dynamics and you shouldn't, but the steering is reasonably well weighted and the ride soaks up sharper bumps and speed humps quite well. You will need to be careful with your right foot. It's easy for the power on offer through the single speed automatic gearbox to quickly overwhelm the front tires with their modest reserves of traction. Pushing on a bit offers the opportunity to switch out of the default normal drive setting into sport. And as with most EVs, body roll is controlled by the low placement of the battery in the chassis floor. Uh, longer trips in particular are aided by the inclusion of MG Pilot. That's a package of active safety features, including adaptive cruise control with lane keep assist and automatic emergency braking. Here's an EV estate you don't need to be drawing a pension to want to consider. It just shows what a difference a visual update can make. In this case, that's been achieved by a front bumper that's chunkier and sportier. Here at the rear, smarter, slimmer LED taillights gain a more distinctive nighttime signature. As before, the MG5 is properly family sized, 4.6 meters long, that's 0.6 meters longer than before, which makes it about the same size as a Ford Focus Estate, although this MG's 2,659 millimeter wheelbase is a fraction shorter than that Ford's. 
The interior of the original version needed more than a light overhaul too, and it's got it. Uh, a seven inch digital instrument cluster features alongside a 10.25 inch central touchscreen, which runs MG's latest iSmart light infotainment system. And cabin material quality has also taken a useful step forward. Uh, the fit and finish is now close to volume brand standards, although it still uh, doesn't feel especially plush. The top trophy variant that most will want enhances things with niceties like leather upholstery and powered heated front seats. On the rear seat, there's ample headroom and legroom, even for taller occupants. Uh, there is comfortable space for a couple of adults with room for three without too much of a squash. You want to know about boot space, uh, that's the same as with the previous version of this model, rated at 578 litres with the rear seats in place. It's about 200 litres more room than you get from an EV hatch like the Volkswagen ID3. Uh, fold the rear bench down in this MG5 and you can extend your storage space to 1367 litres. There are two trim levels, base SE and, as in this case, plusher Trophy, both with the long-range 61.1 kWh battery. Respective asking prices start at around £30,500 for the SE variant and rise to around £33,500 for the Trophy. SE trim gets you the main things you'll need, the cabin's 10.25-inch colour central touchscreen with navigation and Apple CarPlay, Android Auto smartphone mirroring, a 7-inch colour driver's information display in the instrument binnacle and use of the MG iSmart app. Uh, this top trophy spec adds 17-inch alloy wheels, automatic climate control, leather upholstery, rear privacy glass, heated front seats with electric adjustment, uh, rain-sensing wipers and a 360-degree parking camera. Uh, both variants now feature vehicle-to-load charging capability that allows you to charge your power, other electrical items using the car's battery pack. Safety features fitted across the range include a range of MG Pilot camera safety elements. Uh, these include active emergency braking with pedestrian and bicycle detection, lane keep assist uh, with a lane departure warning system, traffic jam assist, uh, intelligent speed limit assist and intelligent high beam assist. There's also adaptive cruise control too. Passive safety systems include front, side and curtain airbags, electronic brake assist, ABS with EBD, uh, twin isofix points in the rear, a tyre pressure monitoring system, hill start assist and seatbelt warnings for front and rear passengers. Earlier we mentioned this car's 249 mile WLTP rated driving range in long range form. That's 24 miles less than the ZS EV long range. Charging an MG5 EV is straightforward thanks to its combined CCS and Type 2 port mounted within the front grille for easy access from either side of the car. Uh, the CCS plug is an enhanced version of the Type 2 plug with two additional power contacts for the purposes of quick charging and it supports AC and DC charging power. Featuring rapid charging capability up to 87 kilowatts in long range form, the car can charge from 0 to 80 percent in 40 minutes from a 50 kilowatt charging station if you can find one of those that is. At home the car can recharge itself using a standard 7 kilowatt wall box in around eight and a half hours. That's two and a half hours longer than is needed by the ZS EV but overnight charging should still be relatively easy. In emergencies the car can also be charged via a standard three pin plug. The long range model 61.1 kilowatt hour battery pack is managed by MG's intelligent battery temperature control system and it's insulated from external temperature variations so it can deliver optimum power and range whatever the weather. Uh, as with all MG models, you get one of the longest fully transferable warranties in the class. Seven years and 80,000 miles. That's a package that's standard across all variants. Rivals like Sangyong, Hyundai and Toyota only provide five years. 
Users will also benefit from a 2% benefiting kind taxation. Uh, insurance group, that is 32D. Here, maybe, just maybe, is the market's most sensible family car. You still have to be free from the affliction of badge snobbery to consider it, and you'd have to have no particular interest in the joy of driving either. But if that doesn't bother you, then in this much improved form, an MG5 EV might have plenty to recommend it as an ownership proposition if your next family car simply has to be an EV. For the price of a planet-polluting mid-range Focus or Astra Estate, you could have one of these, a car just as practical but offering zero tailpipe emissions and a model you could run without ever having to visit a filling station again. Makes you think, doesn't it?